Hi everybody, it's Jeremy with Fireplace Friday here at Fluge Brothers World Headquarters. Uh, here for all your fireplace needs. Phone number is 913-236-7141. Why am I holding my nose? Let me tell you why. Because the phone calls we've been getting this week with all the rain and humidity, chimneys stink. They stink. Oh my gosh, it smells like a barbecue. The bad type of barbecue. Kansas City barbecue is good barbecue. Barbecue in my house at all times, smelling it, and my house smells like Jack Stack. That's not good. That's not good. So let's talk about that. So when we have really rainy years and a lot of humidity after that rain and everything, your fireplace can stink. And uh, we had a call. We had a call come in yesterday or day before, and we went and serviced it yesterday. And we had to go over this in our meeting because we always go over the yearly happenings and everything. And so uh, it's not uncommon to have fireplace smells. Now, obviously, you don't want those smells. So how do you remedy those? Well, the nice lady that called in um, had been on the internet, of course. And all truth is on the internet, but not all the internet is truth. So usually when people, they, they get these parts and pieces and they're a little confused or whatever and, you know, and they go, okay, well, and, and maybe they'll pick up on one thing. But she had picked up on that, uh, if I have my chimney cleaned, that's going to solve my problem. So she was like, hey, if I get this chimney cleaned done, do you guys guarantee that uh, I won't have any smell or anything? Well, of course we can't guarantee that. It could be other things that are happening and usually it is other things. It could just be a flow reversal occasionally, and we can't, you know, there's, there, houses are funny things, so there's no real guarantee unless you put a fan on the top and you keep that thing going, nine, you know, 99% of the time, and it's drawing all that air out of your house, which is very inefficient, and that way you don't smell anything, right? Because it's going to be coming from somewhere, but she was right about one thing. If you start with a chimney clean, then that could salt, help, help remedy the problem. Um, obviously you got a bunch of, of creosote smelly stuff in that chimney and you want to get that out of there. That's just a normal service that should be done every year anyways. So, but when we get, when we got out there, we told her, look, there might be other, other causes, other, other things going on. And, and typically we find that is true, especially when, when, when people call in, they go, Hey, I think I need my chimney clean. But we asked, when was the last time you had it done? Well, maybe when we bought the house, eh, no. I don't, I'm not sure. Well, that's a no. I never had it done. If we, if all homeowners maintained all their chimneys, there would be so many more uh, chimney sweeps out there. So many more companies out there. They'd have to be because nobody could keep up. We're in a city of uh, like 2.5 million here in Kansas City in the general uh, vicinity and area and everything that we service. And there's no way we can get to that many households. Uh, I'd have to have hundreds of people. That's why a lot of your heating and cooling companies who do a lot more houses than uh, chimney sweeps do because you can't live without heating and cooling, right? Um, they, have, uh, they have 100, 150 employees. I've visited these companies. It's amazing how many people they have working with them. I'm amazed that they're able to staff it right now. And I'll tell you, that's a sidebar. If you are young, just graduated, whatever, look into the trades. We have uh, great programs here at Flues Brothers. If you want to be a heating and cooling technician, there's a lot of good heating and cooling technicians. It used to be that you had to go to trade school. Now you can get paid to learn and paid to learn a trade. So it's an excellent deal. So let's talk about what else could be happening if my chimney stinks. You want to start, you want to start with a cleaning and inspection. The cleaning part will get all the nasties out. The inspection part will find out if there's any other things. So. Just like everything else that we do here at Flues Brothers, a good company is gonna have a system to help solve problems. We have a system for this. So let me show you this system. We hand this to all of our customers that are having different problems. We've got see-through fireplaces that have problems, gas fireplace odors. And this one right here is fireplace smells and solution. I'm gonna pull this down. And these are just examples hanging on the wall for the guys so we can have talking points and everything. They have these within their uh, CRM. And they're able to do this. So let's go over it. Let's go over this. So I'm gonna to try to hold this and read. So fireplace smells and solutions. Fireplaces can make your home smell like a barbecue. There are many reasons this could be happening. One, excessive creosote or dirty chimney. That's where that cleaning comes in. Two, damper not closed or broken. A lot of homeowners don't even know how to use their damper properly. So the technician can show you. Three, water entry and humidity. This is a big reason. 
There, just think about it. Uh, a, a, you know, a, a wet area, your basement, uh, your dog, anything that gets wet, it gets kind of stinky, right? Um, four, utility flu. If you got a furnace or a water heater venting up through your chimney, you want to have that, that flu check because it could be that it's leaking flu gases to the interior of the chimney and those flu gases are wet and that causes smells. Five, you might have a dead animal or leaves and debris on the smoke shelf in the fireplace. You know, maybe you don't have a chimney cap or what have you, and those things have gotten in. And six, at the end of the day, air can be drawn down the chimney by the house or by wind. And that's usually because your house is too tight, uh, so we need, you need to loosen it up a little bit to, get the, uh, to make the chimney not draw more air into the house because the house is starving for air. So what steps do you want to take? Now, you could jump on all the steps at once, but... You know, that's not, that's not being very financially responsible if you just jump at every step. So we have a step-by-step -step process um, to uh, solve those issues. And we always suggest start at the top, work your way down. So let's look at those. So first step, clean the chimney and inspect the chimney. All right, did that, perfect. So if a smell problem isn't remedied, then we'll need to move on to the others. So through the inspection, we find other areas that might need repair. Repair all areas where water can enter, like a broken crown, brickwork, flashing, etc. Old chimneys uh, dilapidate over time. You probably didn't even know that some of those areas were bad. Uh, three, apply waterproofing to chimney exterior. That way we can keep water from penetrating and allow it to wick out through our uh, specialty waterproofing solution that we use on chimneys. You don't want to use a water sealer like Thompson's or the stuff you get at Home Depot, Lowe's, what have you, because that'll seal everything and it seals the moisture in. You want it to be able to be permeable where the water will come out but won't go in. Okay, uh, where are we at? Number four, install a top mounting damper. A damper that goes at the top of the chimney and you pull a cord and it closes down so it stops airflow. Uh, those are fantastic. We put a lot of them on. Uh, five, repair holes and gaps in smoke chamber and flue lining of offending fireplace. Now, why is that? Well, how, how, is, it, how is that, you know, I cleaned it. Why, what's going on? Well, if your flue or smoke chamber has developed holes or gaps over time, that smoke could, could be leaking through those areas to the interior chase that we can't get to. So you might have smelly stuff in there that's causing the odor. You did your chimney cleaning. You, you fixed all the water problems coming in and everything, yet you still got that odor. Well, it's, it's from using the chimney and, those, and the creosote can't be removed. So we need to fix that, right? Right. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see here. Six, repair and, repl and replace the utility flue lining. We just talked about that up here with the furnace and water heater. Uh, and then seven, at the end of the day, if you still got smells, then your house is probably too tight and you need to contact an HVAC company to install a whole house ventilator if problems persist after the above steps are taken uh, to battle. Let's see here. Negative pressure in the home. Negative pressure is when the home lacks proper makeup air that is exiting the home. So the home draws air to the lowest point of the home, usually the basement fireplace. And then note, fireplace odor issues are a process of elimination. We always get people, and I get it, I want guarantees in life, I want guarantees on everything. Wouldn't that be great? I think a wise person once said there's no guarantees in life. There aren't. It could be a multitude of things, and nobody is so awesome that they're going to be able to walk out and go, it's this, fix it. Okay, we fixed it. It's Your problem's gone forever. Th that's usually not. Usually there's several different problems. There's a combination going on, and that's with everything. you know. So don't put those expectations out there. Process of elimination. And, and if someone on the, is watching this and goes, well, my guy came out and did this, and ta-da, fixed it. Well, good. That means whatever process of elimination he started at, he got it the first time, which is great. That happens all the time. All the rain we've been getting around here, we've gotten buckets and gallons and, and, and geez, rivers of water this year out here in Kansas. It's nuts. We fixed tons of water leak problems, hundreds, and we had one callback with all this rain, one. 
and that one was a flashing that we had recently done and when we dug into it and everything we weren't finding a lot we had a little bit of water staining around the flashing we had done so we tore up all the shingles and redid it all and you know sometimes there's a little seam or something goofy with the roof and it just so happens that we're the last ones to touch it nice people they're very patient we went out there we tore up everything we even replaced a couple extra roof boots for them that were suspicious it just happens but we want to do the right thing so um okay let's go back here there we are um we suggest the above steps one or multiple at a time to eliminate the issues that cause these problems uh, the repairs we complete are not a guarantee. Rather, we are addressing the most obvious chimney problems that could be causing the problem. If someone offers you guarantees or just keeps on saying yes, 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 yes to every question you have, they're probably lying to you. They're probably a, a, a salesman that is just telling you want, what you want to hear because once he makes that sale, he's out of your life and he doesn't have to explain or follow up on anything. We are going to work with you and we're going to be very, very honest. That's what you're paying us for. That's what you're expecting. But, you know, sometimes reality isn't the funnest thing to hear, but we want to make sure we're partnering with you. We aren't going to run off and not answer our phones. I mean, you hear the phones ringing off the hook today because it's Friday and usually people are uh, getting off early or are done with something and they're trying to get stuff done before they uh, have uh, the weekend off. So anyways, that is the whole process. There you go. It's debunked, demythed. You know, uh, we have a process. That's why we're excellent at what we do. And there you go. So if you have any water issues or smell issues or anything like that, give us a call here at Flues Brothers uh, here in Kansas City if you're in the Kansas City metro area and we can get you taken care of. I am going to let you go. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week for Fireplace Friday. Thanks.